Beer of the day. Cake Moscato. Gifted me to me by one of my viewers, believe it or not. One of my viewers gifted me this. She gave me a ride home and she gave me a bottle of wine. If PK and the dog doesn't like Albo, he thinks I'm some sort of loser with no friends. Here's the proof. It's in the pudding. You think I would buy pink Moscato? <laughs> How's it going guys? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Quick little rant conversation piece if you will. We're going to get into it in just a moment. Uh, before we get into that, beer of the day. Yep, it's Miller time. This one goes out to PK in the universe. Good luck on your new podcast, buddy. And shout outs to Elbow America. He's been putting out some good content lately. I will say this. He's really good. Elbow. He's really good at the uh, off the cuff one takes. He's really entertaining to listen to. I watch most of his content when I can. He, he did a really good live stream today. He was just sitting there drinking a bottle of Barefoot. Just, just sucking it back. <laughs> Always a good time with Elbow. So, I wanted to quickly show you guys what I've been playing. So, I did get into Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition on the uh, Xbox Series console. Playing as Duke Nukem. It's really good. I'm about halfway through. And I walked away from it. I gave it a little bit of a rest. And I went back to Ferrari Racing Legend, excuse me, Test Drive. Now, this is a really good game. It is really, 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 really good. And it was from the same developers that did Need for Speed Shift, Shift Unleashed. And uh, I'll put out a review or a final thoughts video on it in a couple of weeks. Or, um, sorry, not, not a final thoughts because I don't think I'll be done this game by then because it's really, really long. It's a deep career mode. But it'll be a, a, a fast thoughts video, if you will. So be on the lookout for that. Oh, and I, uh, the other day, I was out, out in a boot. And I came across, as you guys can see here, some wild doe. Some wild deer out where the buses don't run. Take a look at that, folks. So the main... Topic of conversation today, I want to talk about the current cost of living crisis that we're going through. I think this is happening all around the world. Pretty sure you guys over in the U.S. are being affected by it. I don't know if it's the same or as bad as it is in Canada. But the cost of living, let me tell you. You know, there's... We, we can speculate as to the reasons why this is happening um, you know, started with the pandemic, then obviously the wars that are happening, everything has caused inflation and it's frustrating, you know, because when, when inflation becomes the thing, companies will ar arbitrarily jack the prices of their goods and, and they'll label, they'll just tell you, oh, it's because of inflation, but they're just doing it because they're jumping on the inflation bandwagon, if you will. And a lot of times now when you go to the store, companies are reducing the size of, let's say you buy like a, like a brick of cheese as an example. They're reducing the size of it. And they're still increasing the cost of the product, of the goods. Gas is ridiculous right now. It's creeping up on $2 a liter in Canada. There's speculation that it's the government at play. And they want to penalize those who continue to drive internal combustion uh, vehicles that don't want to partake in, in, in the early adoption of uh, the EV craze, which is, as you can see, if you're watching the news, even that is starting to die down. Nobody's really buying EVs right now because nobody can afford it. Nobody can afford to run out and finance 
a $100,000 vehicle at a ridiculous interest rate on a depreciate, depreciating asset. It just doesn't make any sense. So a lot of people are like, no, thanks, but no thanks. We're not going to jump on the uh, the EV bandwagon right now. And a lot of the the comp the big uh, the big companies out there are pulling back on their um, you know their aggressive ambitions or aggressive targets on pumping out you know EV models over the next couple of years. Ford has pulled back on it. Uh, Tesla's stock is hurting right now. Nobody's really buying Tesla right now. Uh, the dealership up in Ottawa here uh, is overstocked full of cars nobody's nobody's running out to buy a tesla and like food is expensive it's so ridiculous right now fast food which i don't really i don't really buy but like if you go to mcdonald's that's gonna cost you 15 20 bucks right there and we're talking about just a, just a meal for yourself you go to the grocery store it takes nothing to spend 200 dollars at the grocery store it's just, it's crazy right now. It is so fucking crazy. And so the reason why I wanted to mention this, and if if Square Pegs is watching this or Retro Rob, feel free to chime in. You don't have to, but I want to know, I want to ask you guys, I want to I want to pitch the question to you. Is, is this affecting your hobby right now as far as collecting either retro video games or, or brand new video games? Is it affecting your spending habits, your spending patterns? So as someone who has a, a pretty decent disposable income, I don't really have, you know, I have kids. I don't have uh, any any overhead. My cars are, are paid off. I'm not saying that to brag. I bought used vehicles, not brand new. Other than my mortgage, I, I don't really have any, any, any huge debt. So I have disposable income. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to go out and start blowing my money on on anything that I see out there that is video game related because right now, like I said, with the cost of living and the the crisis that we're going through, you have to be, in my opinion, extra careful with your money. You got to st store it aside, T tuck it away. You got to be very careful. And so, yeah, for me, I got enough games that I really shouldn't be buying anymore to begin with, but like, more so now than even 10, 12 months ago, I'm not really eager to go out there and purchase any games. Not unless I come across something that's like 5 or $10 as an example. It's just, it's crazy right now. It is so fucking crazy. And I can't justify spending $79 Canadian or $89 Canadian for a brand new game. That Those days are done. Those days are done. These are long gone. So I wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys. I wanted to, I wanted to sort of get your take on it. Are you guys feeling the financial crunch right now with the uh, cost of living crisis that a lot of people are enduring right now? Um, has it sort of for, forced you to take a step back and, and reassess life's priorities? Um, have you contemplated? You may be, you know, reducing the size of your video game collection. Uh, have you thought about selling your collection? Uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I don't really have much more to say on the topic, but I just, yeah, I just really wanted to get it out there because, again, not just the cost of video games, but just the cost of of everything right now. It is insane. It's it's a hundred dollars that I have to put. Um, 94 octane in my or excuse me 91 octane in the uh the mercedes so it's a hundred dollars to fill that and that's just my sort of my weekend car and then my golf it's about 65 70 bucks to fill that full of regular so it's kind of like you got to really be careful when you're going out in your car you have to sort of prioritize you know if i need to go to the hardware store to buy something maybe i'll hold off on driving to the hardware store until i have to go out for something else and just have to prioritize your trips you can't be driving around for no reason wasting gas it's I mean, 10 15 dollars of gas just you know driving around for for no reason you can't really do that any, anymore if you don't live in the city i don't know it's it's tough i feel for those out there that have 
you know, you know, let's see, you got two, three kids, and uh, maybe you've got a bit of a debt cloud over your head and stuff, and you know, maybe you're able to manage it when things were the way they were, you know, five, six years ago. But now, oh my God, it is so brutal. You got people that are trying to to sell their houses. To, to make a bit of money because the, the, the housing market was really hot for a while, but now it seems to have cooled off. But you got a lot of people that were maybe thinking about getting a house a couple of years ago, but now the the interest rates and, and the mortgage rates and the lending rates in Canada are so atrocious. Again, people are not really eager to buy a house right now or, or purchase a vehicle or take on a huge amount of debt just because of how crazy the uh, the interest rates are so everything has a bit of a trickle down effect and uh you know when it comes to to the hobby that we uh we know and love yeah it's it's tough right now it is really tough thankfully there isn't really like a a lot of good games coming out right now to be honest with you oh and the other thing i wanted to mention too and i talked about this with a buddy of mine but i feel like youtube is not really promoting videos like they used to. Now, I don't care because I, I don't do this for a living. I really don't care. But, like, I, I'm even noticing it with other channels that have, like, 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers, as an example. You know, they put out videos. that They used to get, like, a couple of thousand views a video, and now they're only getting, like, 1,000 or 700 or 500 views a video. I was watching one channel, not even gaming-related, over 300,000 subscribers. And the last video they put out, they got 1,600 views. So the reason why I say that is because I, I think that Google has maybe maybe pulled back on promoting videos because Google as a company doesn't want to maybe pay out as much as far as AdSense revenue is concerned. I'm not an expert on how that works, but... I, I I wouldn't be shocked. I, I wouldn't be shocked if Google was pulling back on promoting videos. And you watch uh, a channel like Dreamcast Guy because there's nothing to talk about right now in the in the gaming industry. Dreamcast Guy is putting out one video every five days, and he's got nothing no 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 good talking points. And he's getting at best he's getting fifteen thousand views a video. That's not gonna pay the rent. That ain't gonna pay the rent. <laughs> So, yeah, for those of you who, who love to, you know, scream to the sky that YouTube is a, is a full-time job, it certainly is not. It certainly is not. Get that through your thick skull, okay? <laughs> okay, gaming lore? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut it off there right at the almost the 13-minute mark. And I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night. Hey, Pescado!